I think it's important that kids know exactly where they want to go. We talk to them about setting goals all the time. And I think long-term goals are really important for our kids too. I'm Georgina Neho and I'm a reliever teacher here on the South Hokianga and the North Side. Hey Lucas, um, I think this is amazing what you're doing, going around and um, Letting children think out of outside the square, I suppose that's what it is, and knowing that um, dreams can come true, and because you've met famous people that they do know and recognise around the world that are world known, and even saying your speech about learning happens all the time, whether they're dead or not, whether people are alive or not, because um, through their books is still educating um, everybody on how to make their dreams come true, um, their passions. So yeah, um, I think the children were inspired because of uh, um, just believing that, just thinking and surprised about how you knew a billionaire, how you've met a billionaire and, and um, met famous people and now you're living your dream. And I think that it's important that people need to be living Hi, their dreams. I'm dream. from Kaikaui West School and um, so we've done some financial literacy with our students. Last week we had a gentleman sponsored by ASB who didn't work for ASB but was delivering the message on financial literacy. It was good too because it wasn't a, a brand push from ASB but it certainly um, got our students to think better about how they handle their money. Uh, I suppose the other good thing was that he was a trained theatrical teacher so in terms of high motivation and engagement our students absolutely loved him uh, and he went from five, five to ten right across the whole school which is about 400 kids. And so he was absolutely magnificent. I'm, I'm Robin. Um, I've been teaching at Kaikoui East School now for about eight years, I think. Um, this morning's quarter was great. I think the focus on the importance of reading and working hard and um, and just setting, setting your goals and going for it was a really strong, clear message to the kids. They loved it. They also loved the fact that you're a little bit crazy and um, and loud and enthusiastic and they, they loved it. They just love finding out what you're doing and, and the fact that you're travelling around the country and um, educating people. Yeah, they, it, was, it was really good. It was really good. Well, Lucas, welcome to our school. I, uh, I was particularly impressed with your uh, words to our young students. Um, inspiring in terms of uh, the message you have for them to chase their dreams and passions, to identify uh, opportunities that generally lie within themselves. They have the answers to it. And uh, your message about reading was priceless. Thank you. Kia ora, my name's Kiri Milne Ahimaida and I'm the principal here at Moirewa School. Um, we just think this, uh, this kaupapa is, is fantastic. It's going to be really beneficial for our kids and um, the children of, of other New Zealand schools. So we're really supporting um, the concept and asking, um, lending our encouragement to corporate sponsors to get on board and um, help Lucas help our kids. In just a few minutes that you saw your kids interacting with my book on iPad, what did, what did you think about that? Well, the smiles, um, giggles, laughter, talking with each other, and their comments at the very end of it that said, you know, hey, this was really cool. That's enthusiasm and that's kids turned on to, to the resource and turned on to learning well, right there. Corporate sponsor to come up with any sponsor to come on board. And how did you find uh, the little talk I did this morning to the kids? That's good. Um, anything that anything that uh, gets the children to realise that it's up to them, they have to take responsibility for, for their learning. I support anything that does that. I, um, I always do a financial literacy unit every year and one I used last year was the one put out by the ministry, the maths one called Figure It Out and it was on financial literacy and the kids absolutely loved it but just before that we'd done the ASB um, road show that comes around with financial literacy as well but um, it is something I push every year. Excellent. So t just tell me your name as well. I'm oh, Margaret Longy. At, I'm at Oak Hill School. Lucas, thanks for coming to our school today. Really enjoyed it. Um, the children sure, sure got a lot out of it. It was interesting to listen what passions that the children had in their lives. And I'm sure that those children that got up and spoke will fulfil their dreams. Um, I thought it was a good way that you related your monetary thoughts to the hare and the tortoise. Because many of the children will have heard that story and they will relate to it really well. So thanks again, and we'll see you. Oh, 
And don't forget to send us a corporate sponsor if you can. Russell School. My email address, wfuller at russell.school.nz. I have this new lady. <laughs> hey, Lucas. Oh, Lucas. Double vision. Ordinary School would love any form of sponsorship for reading. Uh, we promote reading. It's a huge part of education, you know. Kids need to read. Come on, corporates, get in there and support us. We only have limited funds. Um, this resource is really cool. Nice to see it, you know, becoming electronic. Way to go. So, yeah. Any support that we can get for sponsorship through this awesome program would be much appreciated. I'm Prem Jordan, um, teaching at Hukaranui School, years five and six class. We had the most wonderful session with Lucas today. I absolutely loved all the things he had to say, and especially something that I hadn't known before, 13habits.org, and the special book, and the Paddy showed us the stories on it, um, and how to find your passion, and how to work on it, and get your own destiny, make your own destiny. Hey, guys, look. Look up that site, check it out, and you will know all about it too. Fantastic. Thank you. Hello, I'm Bruce Crawford, Principal at Hickorangi Primary School. I've been here now for going on eight years as the principal, and uh, Lucas's effort with the 13 Habits uh, has certainly contributed in a big way. And if, we can, if there's anyone out there who can help with uh, corporate sponsorship, be most appreciated. With that, I'll be able to uh, put the book into my library and use it extensively in classrooms. So anybody out there who can help, we're looking forward to you. Thanks. I'm Garth Rodder, the teacher librarian at Whangarei Intermediate. And what a great idea this would be to promote financial lit uh, literacy in our school. A uh, bit of corporate sponsorship for this wonderful resource uh, for our kids. Good. Hi, I'm Rob Saw, principal of Whangarei Primary School been here at Whanau Primary for seven years and um, we've just had this visit today with uh, 13 Habits and had a look at the books and certainly think they have merit and um, would love to have them in our school if uh, a sponsor was able to support this venture. It uh, certainly would be well accepted by many schools and certainly by ours. Um, to help children become um, literate in, in this area that uh, these books are about financial yeah, literacy. I'm Renee Proctor and this is my ninth year teaching at Come Media. Media. together and we were asked and the children to participate in um, helping to create a book um, and the kids loved it, we loved it and um, now being able to see it in print is really, really fun for them and quite an uh, inspiration. Um, we would now really love some sponsorship so that every child in our school can have a copy of a new novel that's coming out and, um, and some for our library um, just to help us out with our financial literacy program which I think is very important, especially children at this well, age. I'm uh, Dave Palmer, I'd just uh, like to thank uh, Lucas for, for coming in again. We've been working with Lucas over the last couple of years on the 13 Habits and um, it was a good afternoon this afternoon talking about the, uh, some of the rules and the good habits that you need to make uh, through life and um, yeah with the hundred or so students we've got in Nico and the 600 in the school it'll be, uh, be great to for the kids to get their books, uh, their own books, their own copy that they could treasure um, about some of the life skills that uh, they can learn along their journey of, of, of life and financial literacy. So uh, best of luck Lucas with your uh, rest of your travels um, from here down to Bluff and um, yeah hopefully anyone out there who's keen on some sponsorship um, would love, love to see all the kids here go away with a book that they can look after and treasure. Thank you.